French President Emmanuel Macron will visit Africa this week. He's set to tour Burkina Faso, Cote d'Ivoire and Ghana. The trip is part of efforts to boost France's flagging influence on the continent. Macron is also hoping to convince young people eyeing Europe's shores to remain home. Europe is trying to find ways to stem the flow of migrants across the Mediterranean. During his visit, Macron will be seeking international backing for the new five-nation African counter-terrorism force in the Sahel region. France's youngest president has been taking counsel from a group of young French business people of African origin about how to buff up his country's image on the continent. For more on the French president's African tour, we're joined live by CGTN's Elena Casas in Paris. Elena, this is President Macron's first African tour. What message is he carrying to the continent? Well, as you were saying, he's really trying to improve both France's and his own flagging image on the African continent. He's visiting two former French colonies, Burkina Faso and the Côte d'Ivoire, where in the past uh, the French government has been rather synonymous with trying to prop up autocratic rulers in power. In Burkina Faso, for example, the French government came under criticism when the president there, Blaise Compaore, was ousted in 2014 for allowing him to go into exile in the Côte d'Ivoire, and many there would like France to extradite his brother, who's living here in Paris. Now, Macron is trying to demarcate himself from his predecessors and try and present himself as a new, young, fresh face of France to the young people of Africa. He is, of course, only 39, almost 40 in two weeks, but he's trying to present this young, fresh face of France, and he's doing it by speaking to African students. Tomorrow, Tuesday, he's going to address 800 students in the Burkinabe capital, Ugudugu, and his aim, really, is to try and show them that France is on their side and that it wants to invest in projects that are going to help build a dynamic Africa moving forward into the future. He's also going to inaugurate the new metro in Abidjan in the Côte d'Ivoire, which has been made possible with a 1.4 million euro infrastructure loan from the French government. And he's exactly hoping to say that French business wants to push forward these kinds of projects in Africa in the future. Well, there are a myriad of challenges facing Africa. During his visit, does he intend to address some of these challenges and chat away forward? Well, the other big subject of his trip is likely to be the migration crisis, as you were talking about earlier. Macron convened the UN Security Council in an emergency meeting last week because he said he was so shocked by that video footage that was seen around the world of people apparently being sold as slaves in Libya. Now, a cynic might say that Macron as French president has some responsibility for the fact that hundreds of thousands of African migrants are trapped in Libya because many NGOs say that European funding, which of course includes French money, which has gone to Libya to try and stop people from crossing the Mediterranean, has ended up going into the hands of trafficking gangs in some cases and uh, essentially trapping about 400,000 African migrants within Libya. Now, Macron says that what needs to happen is that European countries need to encourage young Africans to stay at home and help them find jobs, uh, invest in schemes that will help create jobs to try and prevent them from trying to reach Europe in the first place. And that's the message he's hoping to get across to young Africans. Don't try and dangerously cross the Mediterranean. It's not worth it. We're going to create new opportunities for you here at home. All right. Lena Casas, live for us in Paris. Thank you.